Alright guys, uh, just to kind of show you what I was talking about when it come, came to those uh, pressure gauges. Let me turn my camera around here. You see all four gauges here. Now this gauge here is not being used for anything, so totally ignore it. Uh, of course, this gauge is true suction. Uh, this gauge here is hooked to the... This one is my liquid line, and this one is hooked to the suction line over here on the, on the things like I showed before. Now, watch these gauges, and when I shift this thing into, into heat mode which by deactivating the reversing valve, a true suction will play just a little bit, but it's going to stay about where it's at now. These two should come into within 10 pips of eye each other and stay there. That indicates everything's perfectly fine. Now, like I said before, I had a bad check valve on the inside, and the one that was hooked to my liquid line dropped into a vacuum. And my, li my liquid line started frosting up, and but this one stayed about right. But now, I've got the problem corrected. I just want to show this to you, so I'm going to come over here back to my zebra stat, deact the reversing valve. Now we are in the uh, heating mode, and you watch the pressures there. As you can see, my true suction is still staying just about the same. Did rise a little bit, but it'll bounce back out. And as you can see, I'm reading about 145 and 145 on both gauges, both red lines to the, to the uh, line set. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to be real valuable to just get one high pressure gauge because when you are in the heat mode, both lines can blow your low pressure gauge. Uh, just get one gauge, pick it straight up to a hose, and just have a spare gauge hanging here so I can do these tests. Now, if this gauge fell into a vacuum, these two stayed about the same, outdoor TXV will have failed. This one stays good, this one stays good, this one pulls into a vacuum, and then your suction pulls into a vacuum. Liquid line restriction, indoor TXV, in the heat mode, and uh, that's what ends up happening. So uh, I'm gonna switch I think, my cooling back on. The only thing I'll have to do now is just uh, do my sub-cooling. Make sure I've got a final charge that's perfectly right. I did weigh it in, but I always like to go back and double check with sub-cooling. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you soon.